Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel and today I'm going to show you how to create these dirigible plum ornaments. So let's go. Let's make some dirigible plums. In the Harry Potter The Creature Vault book, on page 206 you can find the dirigible plums and I'm going to make mine look more or less like this not as organic looking but more or less like this with the roots and the leaves at the top and then also the leaves at the bottom here and this would be the peg so what do you need for this not an awful lot you need some paints you need some wire or paper clips if you don't have wire, some faux leaves from just some fake plants. You can also make some from tape. Just double the tape and cut a leaf shape and then you can glue them onto your project. We need the tape anyway to wrap around the wire. We need some of this hemp thread or some thinner hemp thread, either or. We need some styrofoam balls in whichever size you would like. We need some pegs. Mine have holes in them. They don't necessarily need holes in them, but I'm going to stick the wire through and then wind it around just to secure it and then secure it with hot glue. So we also need hot glue. I've got two size pegs, so I can make big and smaller ones. Some pliers, some tweezers, uh, probably a craft knife, a pokey tool and some scissors as well. Some of this tissue paper, some tin foil. It's not necessary because you can also do that with the tape. I will show you in a bit. And to attach the tissue paper, we are going to need PVA and water mixture. I say, let's get started. I prefer to have a craft mat on my work so I can just put the paint on and spill glue without it damaging my cutting mat. So let's start with a styrofoam bowl. Now with a pokey tool, just go to poke a hole inside. There we go. Then if you're using a paper clip, in this case, it is a larger one. You can also use a smaller one if that is all you have. I'm going to bend it straight or as straight as I can. This paper clip is flaking a little bit, which is not an issue. There we have it, a straight paper clip. And this is how you're going to attach it on the inside of the styrofoam ball. But I'm just going to attach that with some foil that I'm going to wrap around like that. Because it has that little bit of that tapered look. The bottom of that plum. And then you're going to grab the tape. Either this tape or the floral tape. Doesn't matter. Then you're just going to attach that foil to the bowl like this. You're just going to follow that wire and wrapping this around. At this point, I would probably use floral wire because it grips on itself a little bit easier than tape. You can keep using tape, of course, but I prefer this and I have it on hand. So that's what I'm going to use here. Then you stretch it and then it grips itself. Just making sure that that top has part is attached to there we go this will be fine it will be um, covered with the, um, the tissue paper in a moment so there's that now the next thing would be to attach it to the peg and you can move the peg a little bit on the side like that stick it through now because this is a paper clip it does a little bit harder to bend so you're gonna need your pliers it's going to wrap that around the base of that plum and now you can kind of shape the plum like so. So this will sit in the tree and you will hardly see that. And then the plum will stick out like that. 
Now this is all a little bit wobbly, so I'm going to add hot glue to the base here. And I'll open it a little bit again and also there. And I'll keep it in place until it's secure and all cooled down. And whilst the glue gun is heating up, I'll show you one with floral wire. So I double the wire. Got this little dental explorer tool here. And I'm gonna twist that. You can also twist it by hand, but this is this goes a little bit faster. That's a bit more sturdy. I'm probably gonna double it again just to make it a little bit more sturdy. And at this point, you might want to get some pliers on the other side. There we have that. It's quite sturdy. Poke that in. You can also do that with a pokey tool, of course. And then do the same thing with the tin foil and the tape. Right, now I've got a few prepared. I'm going to attach the wire with the hot glue to the peg. Once these are cooled down, it is really, really sturdy and strong. So this one was just with the wire, with the floral wire. I would recommend this over a paper clip if you have it, but a paper clip, a paper clip, a paper clip would just work fine as well, which was this one that was, was this one, but the wire is very difficult to bend around because it's just a bit more tough, but it's, it's, it's it's stronger it's more rigid than these ones these are a little bit more bendy let's move on to applying the tissue paper so what you need for that that i forgot to mention is also a brush to apply it i suppose you can also dip this in and just apply the the things to it but um let's use a brush the pva glue and all i'm gonna do is just apply the glue and apply the tissue paper, paper mache, basically. And I work my way all the way down, including this part, all the way down. Whilst these ones are drying, I'm going to prepare the twine. So the only thing I need to do with that is cut a long enough strand for all of them. Just cutting it into smaller sections so I can lay it out on the mat. And the thing that I'm going to do with them, I'm going to dip that into the PVA and water mixture and stretch it out. And this way I'm going to attach the roots to the final painted dirigible plum. Use my tweezers. Completely dip it in and then take the excess off like so. You can also do this with your fingers, whatever you prefer, but this works. And then I'm going to let that dry on the mat. I think it is time to paint. Now that all the paintwork is done, you can make this either green or brown, whatever you want. I am going to poke a hole in the top with my pokey tool in the middle, hopefully, somewhere there. And I'm going to attach some of the faux leaves with hot glue. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that the hot glue cools down somewhat before you stick it in, otherwise the styrofoam will melt. You can also use other glue for this. And then I will also use some of these leaves to attach to the bottom here, to sprout out like that. Thank you. 
and if you really like to cover that glue you can always add a little bit more paint to that base as well now remember those roots that we made they're all nice and straight now because of the glue I'm to cut them into strands which I'm going to add as being roots length doesn't really matter an inch to an inch and a half and then you can always trim them if you if you think they're too long so now I'm just going to poke in a couple of places where the roots will come out of the plum and with some glue I will be using wood glue for this you can also use the PPA glue but I'm going to use uh, wood glue for this one you can pick it up with the tweezers and just stuff that in there Ech, if it wants to participate there we go there's one root and I'm going to go all around and then we'll have a look at what the final result looks like and this is it for these dirigible plum ornaments it was a small and simple project but they are fun to create are you going to add some to your christmas tree all my social media can be found in the description box below and if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos and of course become part of the raven family thanks so much for watching stay safe and i will see you all in the next one bye